Hey everybody, welcome to a great episode. In the media today, one of the biggest stories about AI is its huge energy consumption. Well, in a major breakthrough, it looks like NVIDIA has fixed that problem. At NVIDIA's GTC event last week, the biggest news from the GPU, that's graphics processing unit, and AI powerhouse was the launch of the Blackwell GPU architecture. NVIDIA says it will enable companies to build and run real-time generative AI on trillion parameter LLMs, large language models, at up to 25 times less cost and energy consumption than its predecessor. A stunning improvement. That's not percent. That's 25 times less cost and energy. Named in honor of Dr. Harold Blackwell, who was a mathematician that specialized in game theory and statistics. He was also the first black scholar inducted into the National Academy of Sciences. The new Blackwell architecture succeeds the company's Hopper technology launched only two years ago. So for three decades, we've pursued accelerated computing with the goal of enabling transformative breakthroughs like deep learning and AI, said Jensen Wang, co-founder and CEO of NVIDIA. Generative AI is the defining technology of our time, and Blackwell is the engine to power this new industrial revolution. Working with the most dynamic companies in the world, we will realize the promise of AI for every industry, he said. So Wang started talking about a huge shift, which is from general computing to AI computing. According to Wang, computing has reached the tipping point. General purpose computing has run out of steam, he said. We need another way of doing computing so that we can continue to scale, drive down the cost of computing to consume more computing, while at the same time being more sustainable. He says the industry is going through two transitions at once right now. The first is how the computer is made, going from general purpose computing to accelerating computing. And the second is what it can do, called generative AI. So it's hardware and software, the software being the AI. By the way, by hardware, what he's referring to is something we've talked about several times recently, system on a chip that allows AI to process on the local device rather than having to go to the cloud. In this new world, the software is insanely complicated, he said. There's nothing easy about ChatGPT, one of the greatest scientific breakthroughs ever, according to Wang. AI software is very large and it's getting larger, learning on words and images, but soon videos using reinforcement learning, synthetic data generation, and going to get more sophisticated over time. Wang is looking for the data center to be an AI generator producing data tokens for a new industry and AI factories. So in other words, the data centers become AI factories of, fa of AI creation. This is one of the reasons NVIDIA created Blackwell, a new generation of computing for the trillion parameter future. The, the scale of the numbers is just insane now. So in speaking to the media at their GTC conference, Wang said Blackwell is revolutionary in a few different ways. One, it is designed to be very performant and energy efficient. In his keynote, he showed an example of training the same GPT that's generative pre-trained transformer. That, sorry, that's what GPT stands for. For 1.8 trillion parameters in 90 days, requiring only 4 megawatts of power instead of the previous generation's 15 megawatts, saving 11 megawatts of power. So this is huge. And it will very quickly cut off the, what was considered to be the looming crisis of enough power generation of power data centers. A 25x improvement reducing power that much. It's insane. The second breakthrough is generation beyond inference. So historically, AI was an inference engine, right? You give it a lot of data. Originally, you had to label that data. Now you don't, but it would draw conclusions from all that data. Well, now he's saying 
AI is going to switch from being an inference engine to a generation engine. Blackwell is designed to be a generative computer. So they're matching the hardware to the direction that AI software is going. This is the first time people started to think about AI, not just for inference, he said. In the future, images, video, text, proteins, chemicals, kinematic control, they're all going to be generated and they can be generated by GPUs directly. A generative engine needed a special type of processor, so the company created Blackwell. Its new transformer engine and large NVLink, that's what allows the GPU to communicate, enable generation of a lot of information very quickly by parallelizing many GPUs. So this is parallel computing that could only be done previously with traditional chips, but now can be done with GPUs. The new architecture also allows for liquid cooling and the creation of larger 8 GPU NVLink domains. So they're able to link eight GPUs together to do calculations. That's crazy. Blackwell was designed with the same form factor as Hopper. So you can pull out a Hopper and push in a Blackwell, he said. So that's major. That means that this revolution can happen without changing most of the hardware. Our customer support transition map is going to be a lot easier because of this, because the infrastructure already exists. So all the data centers and servers are there. You're just switching out chips. And then he went into detail about six transformative details of the Blackwell technology. This technology will produce breakthroughs in data processing, engineering simulation, electronic design automation, computer-aided drug design, quantum computing, and generative AI, all emerging industry opportunities for NVIDIA. The technologies enable AI training in real-time LLM inference for model scaling up to 10 trillion parameters, stunning, packed with a mind-boggling 208 billion transistors per GPU. Blackwell architecture GPUs are manufactured using a custom-built 4NP process from strategic partner TSMC, and the chips on the GPU are connected by 10 terabyte per second chip-to-chip -chip links, making for the world's most powerful computer chip. Blackwell's second-gen transformer engine supports double the compute and model sizes of the hopper. So this is crazy improvement in only two years. The latest fifth-gen iteration of the company's NVLink delivers a groundbreaking 1.8 terabits per second bidirectional throughput per GPU. This is mind-blowing communication speed. So the speed of processing that's coming now is absolutely unbelievable. This allows the most complex LLMs to accelerate performance for multi-trillion parameter and mixture of experts' AI models. Blackwell-powered GPUs feature a dedicated RAS reliability availability and serviceability engine and capabilities at the chip level to use AI-based preventive maintenance to run diagnostics and forecast reliability issues. The combination maximizes system uptime and improves resiliency for massive scale AI deployments to run uninterrupted for weeks or even months at a time while tremendously reducing operating costs. So again, this is an unprecedented breakthrough in chip technology. Advanced confidential computing capabilities are set to protect AI models and customer data without compromising performance. So that means it allows the interface of encryption protocols. This is really important for industries like healthcare and financial services. So as you know, the AI is the software that has to query a database, right? A dedicated decompression engine supports the latest formats, accelerating database queries to deliver the highest performance in data analytics and data science.
So this system combines 36 Grace Blackwell superchips, which include 72 Blackwell GPUs and 36 Grace CPUs interconnected by the fifth generation in VLink. So get ready to have your friggin' mind blown. This system provides up to a 30 times performance increase compared to the same number of GPUs from their Hopper system, while allowing a 25 times reduction in energy consumption. The platform, which acts as a single GPU with 1.4 exaflops of AI performance and 30 terabytes of fast memory, is a building block for the newest DGX SuperPod. Along with Blackwell comes a new way of packaging complicated AI software with high-performance compute technology into one container, making it easy to download and use. The whole thing is supported by NVIDIA's AI Enterprise end-to-end -end operating system for production-grade AI that includes NIMS, or NVIDIA Inference Microservices. And these NIMS connect together for customers different AIs and can be used either off the shelf or be customized. This allows companies to build totally custom AIs like a foundry does, meaning an AI shop. So who's on board already? Well, as you might expect, all the big dogs, AWS, Amazon Web Services, Google Cloud, Microsoft Azure, and Oracle Cloud Infrastructure will be the first service providers to provide Blackwell-powered instances, giving dedicated access to the infrastructure and software needed to build and deploy advanced Gen AI models. Cisco, Dell, HP, and Lenovo were expected to deliver a range of servers based on Blackwell products. So in the end, what does this mean? This, this technology, most of all, Jensen Wang said, will have a massive impact on simulation. These simulation tools are used to create products, said Wang. So this is engineering simulation. It's going to be used for designing and simulating electrical, mechanical, and manufacturing systems and parts. So this is the engineer's dream, right? This will allow companies to bring new products to market much, much faster at much lower cost and with much higher energy efficiency in building these products. And finally, there's a company called Cadence that's building a supercomputer out of NVIDIA GPUs so their customers can do computational fluid dynamic simulation at a thousand times scale, basically creating a wind tunnel in real time. Imagine a day when AI tool providers would offer you AI co-pilots so that we have thousands and thousands of co-pilot assistants helping us design chips and systems. So what does all this mean? He says, finally, next up, and finally, this is going to have a huge impact on the phys physical world. According to Wang, the next wave of AI will be better able to understand the physical world. A first step in that direction is what OpenAI has done with Sora in creating video from text. After the AI understands the physical laws, the next step in the physical world is robotics, he said. The next generation will require new computers to run in the robot, tools like the Omniverse, of which Blackwell is a component, so that the robots can learn in a digital twin and the invention of new AI foundation models to complete the stack. So that was crazy, and what does this all mean? <laughs> These chips are going to dramatically accelerate everything that has been happening, which means in the digital world, AGI will be here sooner than it would have been otherwise. And in the physical world, it's going to enable the full-blown robot revolution that takes over most activities. Again, if you want to know what it's going to be like, check out the iRobot movie. Insane. So if you like this episode, please like, subscribe, and share. Also, please support us on Patreon. We really need your support. Thanks so much for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Bye.